In today's show, we will have a story on Cinco de Mayo, the film festivals, a stand-up on sports physicals with Emery, and a get-to-know-your counselor segment. We are making stories by teens for teens, creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. I'm Jake. And I'm Savannah. Hey Savannah, Cinco de Mayo, Mexico's Independence Day? I don't really know, Jake. Let's go to uh, Emma to find out more. Cinco de Mayo was last Sunday. There are many misconceptions about this holiday, so Miss Martinez's Spanish class decided to discuss the myths and celebrate in an unusual way. All right, so Cinco de Mayo is a celebration of the Battle of Puebla when the French um, tried to take over Mexico and Mexico um, completely unprepared, uh, where they were able to um, overthrow the French, um, Napoleon's army, um, and it was a very big deal. A lot of people think Mexican, or that Cinco de Mayo is Mexican Independence Day. It is not. Mexican Independence Day is in September. Um, and so we have a party, we talk about it, we make sure everybody understands. And then we actually take an Easter tradition, which are the confetti-filled eggs. And um, we go out into the parking lot and do a reenactment of the battle um, to, you know, for the Big Bang. Her class enjoyed the reenactment and learned a lot about Cinco de Mayo. So basically, with the eggs, it's kind of like making fun, because it's more of an Easter thing. It's more of like, we're making fun of Americans for celebrating Cinco de Mayo and like mixing like all this like holiday and heritage and stuff, but it's not actually right. So we took something from Easter and then um, celebrated it on Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> my favorite part was like, well, I have some really competitive kids in my class, so it, and we all like each other. Like Spanish, like Spanish is like our own little family, so we all like have a good time together, and it was just super fun and like I don't know, just smashing eggs on people. Like it's kind of funny, so. If you're interested in Cinco de Mayo or have any other questions about Mexican culture or traditions, make sure to drop by Mrs. Martinez's room. If you want to learn more, go to Ms. Martinez's room. Freshmen have recently been working on short films. Let's go to Kira to hear what it's all about. The annual Freshman Film Festival is coming up. Let's go see what films the freshmen have been working on. So the film festival works where everybody writes their own heroic journey story and then they gather into groups and decide which story they're going to make into a film and then from there every group has a film that then is voted on a series of times. Our film is about a girl who's in the middle of a softball game and her parents won't stop yelling at the umpires. Our film is about a private investigator who has to go and figure out a bunch of different crimes. I'm really excited to see all of the films and to see how the students chose to adapt their short stories and their heroic journeys to make really exciting pieces of movies. Each group has their own way they plan on producing their film. We have been researching like ways like camera angles we've been doing that we've also just tried to work as a group to figure out how we can make this work <laughs> in our environment and our resources we've just been writing out like how we're gonna film and like different shots we can do i think they're gonna look forward to seeing their own films and seeing the reactions of their peers but it's also really exciting to see everybody else's and to see how they chose to interpret different stories and to see like the creative choices that everybody made i'm excited about it because it's a contest, and so like, I want ours to be the best for the fact that like, because everybody wants it to be the best, so. I'm most excited to see like, how it'll all come together at the end and like, what the full movie will look like. The final day of voting for the Freshman Film Festival will be Friday, May 17th. Freshmen will present on the 17th in the auditorium. Now into the news. Starting today, the Writing Center will be open during seminar until May 17th. To join the Writing Center, you have until May 15th. For more information, visit Mrs. Sands Room W6. The Alumni Association is hosting a contest to make a 100-year shirt. Deadline for submission, May 23rd, 2019. 
AFCCLA members have qualified for nationals in Anaheim, California. May 6th through 23rd, they will be selling burritos. Email Miss Jones to order. New scholarship opportunities have been added to the Class of 2019 Schoology page. Seaman High School students will turn in laptops soon. Prior to check-in, make sure to organize desktop materials, clean your device, back up the device, remove all personal items, then bring your charger to check-in. Congrats to the following students who are elected as NHS officers for next year. Sophie Sparks as Secretary, Andrew Patton as Treasurer, Alyssa Flower as Vice President, and Riley Poulter as President. Now let's head on over to Savannah with sports after this quick commercial break. <laughs> Yo, dude. Man, you need to clean out your locker. Yeah, man, no, no kidding. <laughs> Thanks for getting me out. No problem. While you guys are out playing sports, I'm in here stealing all your stuff. If your locker isn't locked, I will find it. I will steal your wallet, your possession, your livelihood. I am the locker room thief. If your locker isn't locked, I will find it. Seaman is offering a reduced sports physical for the upcoming year. Let's go on over to Emory to see what's up. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. Deeds and he's going to talk to us about the sports physicals. So, what is it? So tomorrow there'll be a sports physical by our athletic trainers, doctors. Uh, it's $20, which is very cheap, and um, everybody that gets their physical taken there tomorrow between 8 and 2, no, no appointment is necessary, they're going to donate $10 of that back to Seaman High School, which is a great deal for us as well. Uh, when is it? It's tomorrow from 8 a.m. till 2. And that's the doctor's office that's in that 501 Sports Park area, just to the north there. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No. Uh, well, maybe. Uh, there is a packet that we have here in the office of uh, physicals that they could take with them, and that might speed things up. All right. Thanks, Mr. Dietz. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to get yours done. Congratulations to the Boys and Girls Track Meet team and the honors they earned last night at the Centennial League Track and Field Championships. Coach Tuck and Coach Garman are looking for swimmers entering grades 7 through 12 to improve strokes and provide a solid workout. For more information, contact Coach Tuck. Make sure to wish the tennis team luck today at State. That's all for sports. Now on over to Josh with the weather. Good afternoon to you. After starting out at 37 degrees this morning, we're on our way up to the lower 60s later on this afternoon. Cloud cover has been increasing and will continue to, and maybe an isolated sp sprinkle or shower by the time we get t closer to sunset. Not high confidence in this potential, but nonetheless, here's your weekend outlook. 61 degrees today, 60 tomorrow with cloudy skies remaining. There's only about a 10 or 20% chance of rain throughout the weekend, so I decided to keep the forecast dry. And then Sunday looks like middle 60s return with a little bit more in the way of sunshine. Now, in terms of the small rain chances, here they are. Tonight, you can see this stream of showers trying to get up toward the Kansas Turnpike later this evening. And then... Saturday night, there's a slightly better chance of maybe a few sprinkles as well, but most of it's going to be falling while you're asleep, and it's not going to be all that heavy. Now, for your TV 7-day forecast, you can see those small rain chances this weekend are followed by a pretty dry week next week with temperatures up into the 70s starting on Monday. There is a very slight chance of a thunderstorm Tuesday night, but again, confidence a little bit too low to include that right now. Now, back to your anchors. We are going to leave you with a segment of Get to Know Your Counselors, and today's story is on Miss Alaker.
I became, I was, in, I was actually in education and I realized that I must have this natural thing about me because people would just come and speak to me and want advice and whatever and so I thought I don't know that I can teach for the rest of my life but what if I could do something where I could utilize this skill that I seem to have that I didn't even know I had. All of us provide an environment of empathy um, an environment where we meet you, where you're at, no judgment, a place where you can be open, a place where you feel comfortable, a place that you know confidentiality exists. The how is just relationships, building relationships, being visible, being accountable, being true to our word, being caring, loving, hugging, we hug, all of us hug. Everyone. One day it was pouring rain and I went to go get something from my office. It was on a parent teacher conference day and so nobody was out and about. And I had to run around the building and I had to try every single door to finally get into the front door to come in 100% soaked. Later that day, Randy Dietrich and Mr. Alexander were laughing because they kept watching it over and over on the video of me going to each door getting poured on. That's all for today. Have a great weekend, bikes.